This episode of Community Calls was brought to you by such patrons as Dharma Wheelies, Milk Bucks, It's Leon Motherfucker, Parkman, Phone Losers of America, Fancy Pants, MST3 Clay, Anonymous, Gordo, Crispy808, and Mr. Turbois. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more about the show at immoralhole.com. You can find our show archives at travelswithmiriam.com. You can help contribute to the show by visiting immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. A special thank you to Nerdboy D of the Nerd Boys podcast found on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Links to his show can be found in the show notes for today's episode. Doing, but we're going to make phone calls. Thank you for calling the best Western universe. I don't know. <laughs> the the choo choo train is already off the cliff. Thank you for calling Canton Best Western. This is Leon. How may I direct your call? Hi. Hey, Leon. Hi, buddy. Hello? Leon. Yeah, Leon. Listen, I'm in the room right now. You know how Super Bowl is this weekend? I have no clue. No, I'm saying it is. And I'm up here. And my friends don't believe I used to play good football. And we're playing football in the room. And we needed a broom and a dustpan because things got broke. If you're in a room and something got broke, you do realize yeah. that, that, that that's going to be damage fees. And it's going to be upwards of Blue. $250. Hang, 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 hang out. Hang out. I'm going to do a trick play. Blue for it, too. Set height. Hi. Go for the end zone, baby. Go for the end zone. Okay. Good night. Uh, I won. Bingo. That's Fairfield in. This is Tracy. Can I help you? Hello. Hi. You got the room grease down there? Excuse me? The room grease. The door is squeaking a whole bunch, and I thought maybe you might have some grease up there at the front desk. No, I don't. What room is it? Well, it's the bathroom door. My son keeps going in and out, in and out in there, and he keeps going, you know, squeaky, squeaky, all day, all night. He's had the diarrhea after he had some, some food that was off. I did not. Well, here, you take the phone. I'm, I'm, I gotta use the loo. The loo? What's... You call Pat Center, I'll help you. Hello. How y'all doing? Good, how are you? Uh, what happened? What's wrong with your eating habits? I'm sorry? I, I gave you two months to lose 60 pounds, and now you gain eight pounds. What is the problem with that? What's the problem with your weight? You're putting all these candies and cookies in your body, and it's make you fat. Hey, you're fat. You sound fat. You don't gain the weight from the thin air. Hello. Hello. He's a, who is that person? Is, is that your enabler? They live with you? Who are you talking about? Who is this? Uh, that person. That, who brings you the food? No one. Do you know who you're calling? It's because she brings you the food. You Bro. know, you should get the... You should get the food. Uh, uh, Hello. Hello? How y'all doing? How Good, y'all doing? You? Good. What happened? I, I don't... I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. What is the problem with oh. your eating habit? I gave oh. you two months, lose 60 oh. pounds. Oh. And now you gained the eight oh. pounds. Oh. Oh, that, dude, that... Yes, I am. What's your drug, drug? Thank you for calling Elikon How may I help you? Oh, let me put my brother on. He knows he knows how, you know, how Hello? to make it go. Hold on, hold Hello. on. Yes, 
go ahead. Hello. Yes, sir. This is Econo. How are no. you? Good, how are you? You don't hear my brother? I'm sorry? Hello. Hello. Oh. Hi. Yes. So there's a lady next door to us. Do you know who this is here? Let me hold the, the phone up to the wall ah, here. Ah, Do you know who this is? Ah, 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 is that your sister? Ah, 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 is she available ah, for appointments? Uh, Hello? I, who you are talking about? This is a hotel. Yeah, I'm here in the hotel and I put the phone up to the wall. Who's this? Do you know who this lady is? I don't know. The concierge told us about her. He said if we the concierge told us about her. He said if we slipped him a Mickey Finn, he'd tell us the room number. Said she was the best piece of ass this side of the Mississippi. Uh, I don't know. Sorry, wrong number. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I don't know either. Bye. Oh. We struck up a friendship. Malone Holiday Inn. This is Brandon speaking. Hi, Brandon. We're in the room, and there's a lady next door to us. Uh, she said she knew you, but now she's making some weird, awful racket. Let me put the phone up to the wall here. Ah. Uh. Do you hear that? Yep, what room are you in? A 215, but I asked her to please stop, and she just keeps getting louder. Okay, I'll uh, go check that out. All right. Will you tell me when when you got it resolved? Because she just keeps moaning all night. My kids are here. Okay, I'll uh, do my best to... uh, Get her to stop. Hi, I'm Bobby. Okay. There's no, there's awful noise coming from next door. I'll figure. I'll do my best to figure it out. Have a good Sounds night. like grandma when she just gets up out of the bed. She's like, ah, ah. Right. Well, I can't do anything if you don't let me off the phone. So. Oh. 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 The gates of hell. Thank you for calling the award-winning Red Roof Plus and oh. Suite. You are being transferred to oh. the operator. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. Usually that doesn't work. Usually they throw me out. Thank you for calling Malone Red Roof Plus and Suites. Jennifer speaking. How may I help you? Uh, hello. I'm looking for some luxurious accommodations. You're looking for what? Accommodations? Some lux- luxurious accommodations. Luxurious? For tonight? Yes. Well, I'm so sorry we are full tonight. Oh, drat. Can you do anything for me? I'm very... Good evening, and thank you for calling the Candlewood Suites Watertown Fort Drum. This is Bill. How may I inspire you? Bill? Hello? Inspire? Hello? My room hasn't been cleaned. My room hasn't been cleaned for three days. I can't understand what you're saying, please. I said my room hasn't been cleaned for three days. Uh, what room are you in, ma'am? Till fifteen. One moment. Let me let me transfer over. Let me transfer this over to my other desk. One moment, please. Okay, me post takes you. I hear Snappy. Snappy, are you there? Thank you. One moment, Snappy. please, while I sign in. Okay. Two fifteen, you said, ma'am. Yes, it's a goddamn mess up in here. Is it two fifteen, you said? Yes, two fifteen. 
Okay, thank you. Oh, what room? Um, you checked in today, right? Oh, well, I have a good chilling these brownies, and the time is getting away from me. I'm, I don't understand what you say. You checked in today. I, I guess I already made a mess of things. No, because you just checked in. Then why is, why is all the towels used, and why is the coffee machine all over the floor, and why is the bed turned over? Why is the what turned off? The bed. It looks like someone slept in my bed. I could move you to another room, ma'am. Oh, no. This, I have a sentimental attachment to this room. I've been here a whole day. Well, I have no, I, I, all I can do is move you to another room. I don't have any housekeepers tonight. Oh. Okay, well, I've already set up my webcam and set my background for my online uh, customers. Yes? I, I'm not following what you mean, sir. I know you booked the lower room through Priceline. I see that. And, uh... Priceline? Yes, you booked through a third party. Uh-huh. Okay. Why is there jello in the bathtub? Why is there what? Jello. I I do not know, sir. The room. Uh, <clears throat> can you hold just a moment? Let me go get the housekeeping book from housekeeping. One moment, please. Oh, don't do it. You checked in today. Yes. Hello? You checked in today, yes. right? You know, the room was, was marked as clean, apparently, but apparently it wasn't. I apologize for that. I can put you in another room, though. Okay. My granddaughter is on the phone. Yes, she well, handles. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can. Excellent. Uh, my name is Mimi, and we are trying to get things sorted out. We got quite a mess up here. It's real, real messy. I apologize for that. And the best I can do, I can move you to another room. Let me see what I have that's close oh. to you. One moment. Well, what about the bees? I'm no, I don't know anything about what's up there, ma'am. I have other rooms on that floor I bees, can move you to. The bees, they're breaking windows. I do not know, ma'am. Uh, do you want me to come up? There are bees in my trousers. Excuse me? Yeah, we've uh, we've we've got bee boxes in the room that we carried up from the truck, and the bees the bees are getting in her drawers. Oh, you you brought them up? Okay. My drawers. Well, what do you want me to? together. What do you want me to do, please? You have a first aid kit? Can you read I me have a bedtime story? A first aid kit? One moment. I have a bedtime story. Yeah, I always get a bedtime story after I get a boo-boo looked at. Excuse That's me, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I have a first aid kit down here. If you need something, just come down. For bee treatment? I do not know. Oh, God. Just be calm and get a lobotomy. Excuse me? Hi. You have the bee aspirin? You like need any aspirin? No, I do not. I know that the price of eggs. I have I an know that the price antibiotic of only. For bees? Oh. I have nothing for so bees. Because, but because the egg prices are so high... We've been breeding chickens in the room, and I don't know. Yeah, it'd be really hard to move rooms because I haven't been able to convince the chickens to do much yet. Well, I'm not much I can do the, tonight, sir. I can have housekeeping mm. come in oh. tomorrow. 
You don't you ever... want to make any bead necklaces tonight? I'm sorry? What? Bead necklaces tonight. I have no idea what you're talking about. For social we... hygiene, the necklaces. I have absolutely so no if idea. So what... if we were to get a new room, yep. would you... Would you be employed in the building of the chicken run between the two rooms? I have no idea what you're doing, what a chicken run is, sir. Well, the chickens, you know, they're not too smart. So to move them from one room to the other, you need to build like a tunnel. No, we have just nothing go like forward that. Well, that yeah, I, don't, I, I don't no idea what you're talking about, sir. So. Yeah. To, they're like the oh. insects. I have no idea what they're you're talking They're a winged bug. You're, you're breathing all hard and it's turning me on. Well, there's nothing I can do. If you don't want to move rooms, there's nothing I can do. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, flap it on the phone. There's nothing Please? I can do. Can you flap it on the phone? I have no idea what you're talking about, Bev. I'm, you know, you're breathing all hard. You're getting me all hot and heavy. I don't know Can what you're talking about. Give it a little tap, tap. I it, have no idea you what know, you're you talking, know what I'm about. talking about. I don't know Her, what you're talking your about. Private part, your private parts, your genitals, please. I, 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 I do not have to listen to this, ma'am. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking it's about. It's getting hard right now. Do you no, want me to call the police genital. and have them come up and talk to you? What? The, the genital police? No, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I do like not know have the... emoji. I have the foggiest idea what you're talking about, so... Oh, don't be coy. I'm not being You're coy. I'm trying to help you, ma'am. I, but I, I don't know what you mean. I'm trying to help you live a little. I, I, also, I'm, this is the First okay. Amendment. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to have to hang up because I've got guests. Sorry. Uh -huh. All right. We'll give them a good kiss on the lips. Yeah. Alan, I just want to tell me I help you. Hello? Hello? Hello! Hello, how are you? I am fine, and you? Not too bad. I'm trying to get my ducks in a row here, like getting everything sorted out and getting all my togethers in order and all that. Oh, boy. There was a problem earlier. There were like, you know, like the ducks. Ma'am! I'm you... on the property right now, yes. Where are you? Uh, I can't give my precise location for my personal safety, but I am near about where the ducks have been. So I'm a, that's you like my apartment. Ma'am, take and fall, take and fall, take and fall. On the property, I'm not saying they're inside. They're not on the rooms. They're outside. They're out in, like you know. You are ducks. calling Watertown, New York. We don't have any ducks. Yes, I know. You've never seen a duck, a street duck before. In what? Watertown, New York. Don't talk down to me. She's saying no. She's saying there's none. They shoot bees on you when you quack. That's not my harmonic. Good evening. Thank you for calling Fairfield and Sweet Water Town Thousand Islands. This is Val speaking. Hi, this is Wyatt. Hello? My name is Wyatt. And, uh, hello. Mm -hmm. Thank you for calling Hillgarden and Water Town Thousand Islands. This is Christina speaking. How may I help you? Hi, this is Wyatt. Hi, Wyatt. I'm, I'm calling by a reservation. I got uh, myself, Wyatt, Lila, Jib, Dixie, Hank, Ruby, Bo, Magnolia, Clay, and Savannah are all coming on down there. Excuse me? Hello? Hello? 
I, I said we coming down there. You say you're coming down here? Yeah. You have a reservation number? But some, yeah, it's on, should be under Wyatt. Under Wyatt? What's your first name? Mm-hmm. First name? That is my first name. Yeah. Last name? Dixie. Dixie. When are you arriving, sir? Uh, tomorrow at not uh tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, there's gonna be several of us. We've got Wyatt, myself, Lila, Jeb, Wyatt, Wyatt, Lila, Dixie, Hank, Ruby, Bo, Ruby Magnolia, Bo, Magnolia, Clay, Savannah. Oh, Savannah too. Gideon. Okay. Yeah, Savannah's coming. It's a big party, right? Gideon's, Gideon's coming. Emmeline, Roscoe, Annabelle, Brantley, Virginia, Keith, Scarlett, Thaddeus, and Loretta. Yellow. Hello? Hi there. Hello. Yep, we're ready to come down. Alrighty, sounds good. Savannah. How many rooms you reckon we need? I don't know how many people you got. Uh, we started with 10, got to 20, and uh, we got uh, some late additions. Okay. So I, already, I already told you the first 20 was Wyatt, myself, Lila, Jib, Dixie, Hank, Ruby, Bo, Magnolia, Clay, Savannah, Gideon, Emily, Roscoe, Annabelle, Brantley, Virginia, He. Scarlett, Thaddeus, and Loretta. But at the last minute, Bo, Fletcher, Rufus, Adelaide, Sawyer, Hazel, Vance, and Cora decided they was coming too. Okay. So uh, we, we definitely have enough rooms for y'all. We just uh, we need to make individual reservations for, for each of you. Oh, we got a coupon. Oh, you got a coupon? What's it say? It says... Uh, one one night free for 30 people, limited time promotion. And is that from Hilton and Hilton themselves? Yep. Alrighty, so unfortunately Hilton itself doesn't really um, do anything with this property specifically since we are franchised out. Oh, I just printed it off. I went to coupons.com. Oh, so it's not from Hilton? But it says it's Hilton, but through coupons.com. It says you get one night free, up to 30 people. All right, did you uh, did you just Google us or something to get the phone number? Because uh, none of our rooms can hold 30 people. Oh, I did say one room. It just said accommodations, one night. So, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm willing to work with you to, you know, maybe we do like five people per room. Unfortunately, the maximum rooms. would be would be four. What's a breakfast like? Uh, breakfast is a la carte style off the menu. There's so many of us. Yeah, there's so many of us. Maybe you can do something special. Uh, unfortunately, know. unfortunately, we can't only because it is just so last minute that we don't have the accommodation or the staff to put anything on that's specifically special. Okay, so yeah, we'll be there. Um, uh, one night, 30 people, free of charge, and, uh, yeah, we'll enjoy ourselves. Alrighty, sounds good. All right, you take care now. You as well, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good evening, buddy, Dean, may I help you? I'm good. Hello? Hello. Oh. Can you hear us? <laughs> what? What's going on? Sweet and sour. 
Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy. Forgot about that, too. Thank you for calling. If you have a touchtone phone, you may enter the extension of the person you'd like to reach. You are being transferred to the operator. I touched it. Operator. Oh. Okay. It's going. Maybe. My seat. I think the operator got lost. They got sucked into a jet engine. Hello, my name is Brett Duke, Airport. This is Jennifer. How can I help you? Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, good. Listen, I bought I bought your ownership papers. I'm sorry, what? I bought I bought you. I bought you off a of Craigslist. You're mine now. When are you coming home? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Listen, in my household, there's no laughing. Listen, I grew up in a mobile circus, and now that like people laugh too much, and I don't like it, and it makes me upset. How can I help you? What are you coming home, honey? I need you to bring me a tombstone pizza. I want pepperoni. I want mushrooms. No green pepper because I'm allergic. I'm allergic to root vegetables. Me too. Honey? <laughs> yeah, why, what are you allergic to? to? I'm allergic yep. to bullshit. Now, quit trying to handle me, woman. <laughs> You're making me angry. Have a good night. <laughs> 20,000 dead. Sabred Sweet, this is Brandon speaking. How can I help you? Hey. Listen, I ain't gay. Sorry? I ain't gay. Okay. Like I keep I turn on the TV and I'm sitting here and I'm trying to watch I'm trying to watch the uh Super Bowl previews because I'm a man. And I turn on the TV and all these commercials like coming on the TV, and man, I ain't gay. <laughs> yeah. Like I turn it on and they're like they're talking about these like extents commercials. They show Barbies, they show Care Bears, and then like I flip channels. Like I'm trying to get away from it, I'm trying to avoid it. And then all of a sudden it's like t- it's talking about like these apple teenies in the bottles that Schmeridoff has now. Man, I ain't gay. Really? That's crazy. Yeah, I'm a man. Goddamn it, I got balls. Mm-hmm. So uh, like in like. I watch. I'm gonna watch the Super Bowl, but because it ain't because there's a lot of men or nothing in it. Because I ain't gay. <laughs> Why is that man laughing? Is he doubting my heterosexual credentials? I think he is. Well, you put I'll that motherfucker knock it off on the for phone. You, I'll, 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 yeah, you, I'll you tell him, him I'll come down, down there and slap his ass. I'll slap him right in the cheeks. I'll turn him into a, a bag of top ramen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you heard that. Ooh, he heard you. Yeah. He heard you. I'll come down. Da- I'll come down. You down there. I'll dip you in some hot water, and I'll turn you into some strings. I'll turn you into some limp noodles. All right, all right. So, like, you need to change this program, and like, well, over a cable provider, tell him to stop it because I ain't gay. Don't worry, I'll take care of it for you. All right, because guess what? Yeah, I ain't gay. Good to know, man. Good to know. All right. Hey, can you, can you move? Is there a more heterosexual room that I can move to? One that doesn't have this type of subliminal uh, telepathy? The telepathies? Unfortunately, I don't. But this I'm going to see what I can do to change, to change those channels for you. Okay, you change, you change it. You change it. We'll do. We'll do. All right. You, all right. L- listen, though, this is tequila talking. I love you, but I, but I ain't gay. I got you. I got you. All right. All right. I'm gonna let you go. I got some butt stuff to do. <laughs> all right. You take care. But I ain't. But I ain't gay. All right. I know you aren't. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for calling the Homeless Seeds in Liverpool. This is Lainey. How may I help you? 
Hey, Lanny. Uh, listen, I'm homeless and I need a room. Sorry, what? I'm homeless and I need a room. For how many nights? <laughs> well, how many nights are you going to give me the room for? Can I put you on hold real quick? Uh, uh, well, hurry, because I only have like three minutes left on this phone because I'm homeless. Oh boy, I hope she gets back soon. I got about 12% left on this phone and about two and a half minutes left of of time. Oh no. Oh no. Hello? Hi, thanks for holding. So hi. I, hi, so I don't have any rooms that I can just give out. Um, if if there if you're in a situation that would have to be for like management and they like during like the weekday. Yeah, I, you said this the homeless suites is what the thing said. So I'm tr I'm trying to get my hands on one of these rooms. No, this is the Homewood suites. No. I, but the recording said homeless suites. No, it was home. It were Homewood suites. Okay, so how long can I have the room for? Well, I got to see what the price would be. I'm free. I can't give out a room for free. But it said homeless suites. You guys, you guys are supposed to cater to us. We are not the homeless suites. We are the Homewood suites. Home, W-O-O-D. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter where where it's at. I, I'm just trying to get a part of the homeless suites. I understand that, but there is no homeless suites at our residency. But the recording... We are not, like, it's we are not a homeless shelter. We are a hotel. I, under, I understand that you used to be a hotel. Now you're a homeless suites. As I, mm -hmm. I got read online. I went to the library. No, we are... A hotel, and we have been a hotel for the last 30 plus years. Yeah. But, but I think I meet all the credentials for, for having a room for free. I mean, I'm, a ho I'm homeless. I'm I, sorry I'm, about your I'm situation, homeless. Homeless. but I can't just give out a room for free because yeah. then homeless, I would have to give everyone I'm homeless else. And I'm, a ho I'm homeless and I'm a homosexual. I have a telephone. And the recording, it's a, I have a verbal contract with the recording. Can I give you a call back? Uh, but, but how long? I told you I got, I got very limited time. I think I can still get incomings, but I don't think I can make outgoing calls. I'll have to give you a call back. Okay, please, please do. Please, five minutes or less, please, please. I need a place to stay tonight. I'm homeless. Hi, thank you for calling Hampton and Myra speaking. How may I help you? Hello? Hello. Hi. Uh, how y'all doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? What happened? What happened with what? I... What happened? I gave you two months to lose 60 pounds, and you come back, and now you're eight pounds overweight. What happened? Mayor Point Super Eight Liverpool, Sean, may I help you? Hey, how you doing there, you strong eggplant? Liverpool Super Eight, Sean, may I help you? Yeah, how you doing there? I called you a fucking eggplant. Acknowledge me. I need a I need some help in the room. Thanks for calling Trevillin. This is Andrew. I can help you. Hey, how you doing there, jerky nipples? Got a problem up here in the room. Who is this? Yeah, it's Dwight. I'm up here in two fifteen. How can I help you? 
Well, I went over here and I pulled the uh, faceplate off of the uh, electrical outlet here, and I started unscrewing some things, started, you know, fucking sparking some wires here. Now all the goddamn lights are off in the room. You're in 215? Oh. Yeah. You know, like I said, I pulled the goddamn fl- the face plate off. I was like, what do you get off first off using a, a regular, just straight edge, just regular screwdriver? Then I go to go pull out the electrical outlet, and I got to have a Phillips over here. So I got, you know, the whole tool belt out. I pull it out there. I get the wires disconnected, start touching them together, sparks are flying. Next thing I know, the goddamn power's out in here. Not sure what you want oh. me to do about that. Well, I, you, you got to go throw some switches or something in the back. You get the breakers going there. I got, I'm, I'm, I got no light in here. You give me one second. Can you, uh, well, hurry the fuck, hurry the fuck up. You go to two fifteen. Two fifteen, you can punch out. You go to two fifteen. Real quick. You're saying there's no power in the room. You are in the. Can you go to fifteen real quick? Oh, yeah. Can I go in there? Can we do that? Did you want someone to take a look? Two fifteen for you? Yeah, yeah. Send that hot piece of ass on up here to two fifteen. Hi, yeah, I'm in the room and it looks like somebody they left like a, a card or something here and I thought it was chocolate, like maybe you left like a chocolate on the pillow. But no, it's like it smells like poop. What room are you in? <laughs> I went to 15. Uh. So my son, he put it in his mouth because he thought it was it was a chocolate. Yeah. I, I said, Dad, anyone. this isn't chocolate. I don't have anyone in 215. Well, he ate it. Do you know what room you're in or what's the last name? Johnson. Uh. Let me give the phone to my son. I have to finish something here. Hello? Hello? Dad, you gotta move dad, move your legs up move your legs apart. I gotta pee. I got I can't wait for you to stop taking a okay, shit. Okay, here. Take the phone. Move them apart. Well, all right, give me the phone. Uh, uh, uh hello? Uh we're on the towel. Uh, uh Hello? Hello? Oh, jeez, you're uh, getting all over me. Oh, uh, Dad, move your balls. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, all over uh, me. Oh, uh, you see there's asparagus. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, oh, God, it's warm. <laughs> That's weird. My penis is just sitting in ice for an hour. It should be cold. Uh oh. He's awake. How are you? I want to ask you a bunch of questions. And one of them answered immediately. Oh. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Hello? 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 Oh, hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. 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 Here, son. Hello. I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe now. You can use the toilet. Just watch. Watch as I wipe myself. Yeah. Hello. Hi. 
Hello. Ik denk dat ik wel dat ik dit wel heb. Hallo? Hallo, hoe kan ik helpen, sir? Oh, hi. Can, can you make an announcement? Um, uh, I'm wait. I'm a I'm a uh, driver outside. I'm a taxi driver machine, and uh, the lady's supposed to be sitting in the lobby right now. Can you ask that fat bitch to come outside? <laughs> ask who? No, she. That's what her screen name is. I'm I'm here to pick up the fat bitch. That's what it says on the app. She needs to come outside if she's going to make her flight. I got to take her. I got to get her to the airport. Okay, uh where are you? I'm I'm outside. I'm like 2 minutes away. Can you excuse ask the fat bitch to meet me outside, please? Make an announcement. Yep. Okay, I'll hold. Okay, she's ready. Hurry up, man. Don't Don't be messing with my... You didn't even say anything, you jerk face. Come on, man. I'm trying to make money. I'm with the taxi. Courtyard by Marriott. Hello? Hello? Courtyard by Marriott? I'm on my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on my way to make a... uh, To make a pickup uh, at your hotel. Which... uh, What what was the... uh, The cross street? So I'm trying to get there. And my GPS is back. You want the address here? No, no, just across street is fine. Uh, if for some reason it's not letting me punch in address numbers, so I can put in an intersection, and that will um, work just fine for me. I will put in Franklin and West Fayette. All right, let me hang out. Franklin. Oh, it's right here. Oh shit! Oh motherfucker! Hello. Oh, oh. Hello. Yes. I just ran. I just ran into the back of the hotel. Oh. What? Oh my God. So There's where are you at? Floors missing. I at the back of the hotel. Oh. Do you need me to call nine one one? Oh. oh. Just he. Okay, I'm on the phone with someone. He said he just hit. He just hit the back of the hotel. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! He said he hit the back of the hotel. Ah! Hello? I'm calling ni- I'm calling 911. Why? I'm in the drive-thru. Hello? 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 I'm at the drive-thru. Do you guys want a want cheeseburger too or no? Stay on the phone with me. Yeah, I'm getting a cheeseburger at McDonald's. Do you want something? The do not call list. Hello? Hello? Hi, can you take me off the do not call list in the room here? I keep getting calls. I don't know who this person is, who what they want. They told me they were the front desk, but I don't think they are. Or is you calling me? What room? 215 over here. Nope, we haven't been calling you. All right, well, hey you guys, got... Well, he, this guy can't hear me that's making this complaint, but I hacked your phones. Do you hear that? Yeah. Well, that's weird. Who's that? Was that your friend over there? The phone. That I'm splicing somebody. into the lines. Do you have other people in your group? No, I don't. I'm, I came here alone. Okay. So two fifteen. I'm checking out. Wire nuts on the line. I got wire nuts on the lines. Who do who do I believe? Did I actually call the front desk, or is this just that guy again? Yes, yes, yes. This is the front desk. You need to check out. You need to pack your shit and get out. 
What? What's your number? What? What? Can I talk to your boss? My boss uh, is in here. in right now. Come, come to the front. Come to the front desk and suck my dick. That's that's what you can do. That's uncalled for. You can't say things like that to your customer. I own this hotel. You come to the front and suck my dick. I'll come to the front. I'll show you some. Sue Brayton Webster, this is Ryan. Ryan Sue Brayton Webster. Ryan? Can you hear me? Ryan, can you hear me? Oh, God. Trying to get. Oh, my name is Mimi. I've got, you know, my brothers are here with me, but we're trying to get our ducks in a row and get everything over that way. But, you know, we're on the road and it's been pretty, pretty tricky out here. What? Hey, I can hear you. Yes, super eight. Yes, was he telling a secret about me? No, honey. Why would he be telling a secret about you? You're calling super eight. What can I I help you with? Understand. I could hear him whispering. He doesn't understand. I was trying to tell yeah, him about how we're on the road. He wasn't letting me get to the next step. He immediately just okay. whispered. Okay, honey, but off. now I'm on the phone. I, okay, okay. Oh, so, okay, so let's just stop that conversation. Oh now, I'm on the phone, so I'm asking you, what yeah. is it that you oh, would like to say? Yes, my brothers and I, we are on our way on the property. We are on the road, and there are troubles ahead that we must overcome, and we need to make sure our information is correct. Okay, do you have any, do you have reservations? Because we're filling up fast. Oh, my goodness. Yes, we're filling up very fast. Do you have reservations? Mm -hmm. Oh, um, I can check. I don't think we do at this present moment, but I'm sure that if if you're already booked, then there must already be something in the works because we we can't be without. Yeah, we're booked. We're booked. Uh, Yeah, we're. You just you just changed your answer. You changed your answer. You said you're filling up fast. Now all of a sudden you're booked. Oh, my brothers and. Hello, this is Hampton in Lockport. This is Alicia. Can I help you? Hi, I got a page from this number. You did? Yeah, my pager's blowing up. Um. Oh, well, um, I don't know. I don't know what they wanted because uh, I just got here. Um, if um, you don't, do you do you have any uh, issues with the? Uh, any maintenance issues? Because I'm the maintenance guy. Um, let me go check the uh, the box. Because as far as I know, yeah. he said there was no trouble tonight. Mm. It, it's not saying anything on the on the box. Yeah, it was. There was like a page with like a poo emoji. And I was wondering maybe it was something wrong with the toilets or something. I I can go check, but I don't think so. But I'll, I'll double check. Better to yeah, be safe I, rather I'm, than I'm, sorry. Give me just yeah. You don't want to crap away. all over you. No, I gotta put away the the cash drawer. Give me just a second. I'll go check the woman's first. Then I'll have to knock to see if anyone's in the men's. Yeah. I'm not the regular maintenance guy. He's on vacation, but mm-hmm. uh, I'm his apprentice trainee. Uh, and uh, I've been, yeah, I've been uh, practicing uh, on, like, all the stuff in the house. The woman's Mm-hmm. The woman's bathroom's all Yeah, like I, yeah, like my... I was, uh, you know, my wife, she's like, hey, fix the, hey, Mr. Plumber's Apprentice, why don't you fix the the faucet in the kitchen? 
Mm-hmm. You know, and I was like, all right, so I pull nope. out my ranch. Both of the bathrooms on the main lobby are right off the huh? Yeah, both. I oh, just checked good. both of the bathrooms on the main lobby. They're both good. So, yeah. So, I don't know why you got to so pay me because Jason Yeah, Jason I've already left. wrecked everything in the house. But, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, but Jason I, just I left and he said there was nothing to her report. Yeah, I was practicing on the fo- on the sinks and the faucets and the drains at home, mm-hmm. and I done wrecked everything. Do you think I could come over there and practice over there? Uh, no, I don't think we want to wreck like things I could, here. I could just, uh, no, I'm not going to wreck anything because it's, you know, it's your stuff. You know, I, I'm just going to take the toilet down to bits, like like disassemble it, and then put it back together. I just need to practice. Hello. Oh. Oh. You have any like bathrooms that people don't need to use today? Like I could take those apart and put them back together. That was weird. I thought someone was calling on a different line, but they didn't answer. Huh. I got called three times today by a scam number. Huh. Hello? Who's calling now? Yes. Yes, yes, we do. What's the cheapest rate? Huh. Yeah, a cheap bastard on the phone. Okay, our cheapest rate, is this just for one person? How are you going to afford my plumbing services if you're not making that money? Okay, so you would be looking around one forty one dollars and ninety five cents, and that's not including the seventy five for incidental. Damn, that's expensive. So it's yeah, that's with taxes. One forty one ninety five with taxes with the Hilton Honors discount. Hmm? That's for a king. Oh, you you probably don't need to go for that. So um, hold up. Uh, is one thirty one. on the line? Yeah, this is the plumber. I got my boss on the line. Yeah, my name is Bim- Bimbop. Bimbop? Bim- yeah, Bimbop. I'm the plumbing boss. Bimbop. Sounds like an odd name. Well, I'm Indian. Hmm. So uh you I, I I got an awkward question. You what? you didn't you, you didn't hear me orgasming with my wife just a few moments ago while my employee was on the line, did you? Um, I have no idea. Okay. Well, I was just making sure cuz that would be very unprofessional. Yeah. And we pride ourselves on uh professionality here. Uh-huh. Oh, I know. It's, it's something. She gets excited. She's like, bim pop, bim pop. Bim pop. 
So what's up? Your assistant called and wanted to come in and practice on our toilets, and I'm like, no. Yeah, yeah, that's that's Tedly. That's Tedly. Right? I I have to practice though. Hey, yeah, well, I don't want you breaking stuff. Well, that's I'm not going to break it. Yeah. I'm not going to break it. I'll just take it apart, look at it, put it back together again. Uh, I think you need to get permission from Denise. I'm not going to approve this without her consent. Uh, Denise, Denise. Is, that, is that the woman you're selling cocaine to? <laughs> Thank you for calling Hampton and Wounds. Well, this is Jerry speaking. How can I help you? Hi, there's some hot dogs in my room. There's some hot dogs in your room? It's just, yeah, like it's the strangest thing ever. I just like pulled the sheets back to go to sleep and there's just like packs of hot dogs under the sheets. This is like the weirdest prank. Um, What room are you in? 215. What room? 215. 215? I'm looking under the bed. Yeah, I'm looking under the bed. Just give me I see one some hot second. dog buns. Just give me one. Yeah. Just give me one second. Okay. Hello. Hey, is is that the lady? Is that the one who put the hot dogs in the room? Um. Lennox Hotel. How can I help you? Hi, Lennox is garbage. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you know that, but Lennox is terrible. It's. It's hard to, you know, get in there. It's hard to pay. It's hard to, you know, get in the bed. Sometimes they're very dirty. Linux is terrible. I, I sent my son to slash dev slash null. And he hasn't been back since. Okay. So what do you do? You go to a different hotel. Oh, but no, I like it there. I, I just, you know, I like... Uh, how horrible it is, you know. But where's my son? Uh, how am I supposed to know? What room is he in? Well, he went into the null room. He went where? The null device. Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, uh, see? Linux is shit. Okay, goodbye. See? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> so. Thank you for calling the resident in. Derek speaking, how may I help you? Now, what are you guys doing in there tonight? Oh, I'm sorry, this is the contractor? Is that a contractor? Yeah, I was supposed to knock down that whole building and put up a Wendy's. What are y'all still doing in there? Hey, must have changed their mind. So, when I'm done... People won't be able to say, oh, no, I actually, it's backwards. Oh, my God. People will be able to say, sir, this is a Wendy's. You know what I'm saying? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, sure. You don't mind if I run a wrecking ball through there, though? Uh, uh, I'm I'm think professional. A of... <laughs> I think a few people would mind. I'll wear safety equipment. I'll, I'll have my uh, reflective jacket on. Oh yeah. And, uh, I'll have I'll have lights. <laughs> and uh, you don't want to work at Wendy's? Nah. I could make I could make it a Wendy's. Oh yeah. Oh, interesting. I don't know. I'm going with you, though. Food service sucks. I'd rather work right. at a hotel. <laughs> All right, come on. We can we, we can fit you in somewhere. All right. All I'm right. I'm really good with tools. Hey, there you go. I'll break anything that needs fixing. Hey, sound like demolition might be your career, brother. You got any leaky faucets you need ripped out? 
Uh, I'm not sure. You have to ask our, uh, you have to ask our uh, owner and GM and all them other good people. But my pay grade. Any working toilets? You need? Oh, I was just saying, you got any working toilets you need broken? Uh, not that I know of. Hmm. What kind of job would I do there then? Because I can't fix nothing. I'm not even sure. All right, I guess I'll just knock down the building then and put up a Wendy's. <laughs> Had your chance. All right. <laughs> Y'all might want to leave. I don't know. Ooh. You think you think your coworkers will be mad if I knock down the building? Probably. Hmm? Yeah, probably. They probably don't even ask them if they like working there. They probably don't. I don't know. There's a lot of them that's not here right now. See, they don't even want to come to work. <laughs> Are they working from home? I don't know. I have to ask them. You should put, like, a monitor on the desk, and then you call in from Zoom, and you check in the guests over Zoom. You should do that. Well, that might be a good idea. I'll let, the, I'll let the big bosses know. Yeah, and that way you don't even have to wear pants. You just have to wear, like, you got to be decent from the waist up. Oh, yeah. You could be, wear, you could be wearing boxers and a button-down shirt, and nobody would know. Eh. You could have the game on in the background. You could be listening to prank calls. You could be doing all like kinds of one. things while you're working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like this prank You should call. listen to prank calls, though. You should listen know, to prank like, calls, though. I feel like this is, uh, I feel like any minute now, it's going to be like, this is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Robert Warner Show. Oh, you know Nephew Tommy? Yep. Mm. He's like the Steve Harvey of prank calls. Yeah, right. You ever call people on the phone? Mess with them? Nah. You should. Hey, you should <laughs> just call some people up. They're like, why don't you call one of the guest rooms and be like, hey, is your refrigerator running? You should right. do it. <laughs> yeah, I should. <laughs> yeah, you ever go to be. places you shouldn't and then pull out your penis and then laugh? I do. What? <laughs> oh no, I don't do that. That's my that's my associate. Yeah. <laughs> he's a foreman on the job. Or he's gonna he's gonna supervise me while I knock down the building. See what I, what I like to do is I, when he when we do these construction projects, we bring in uh, portable toilets. You know, I'm talking about like the porta johns. Yeah. And what what I like to do is I go in. We only bring in one, so people don't have a real big selection. I go inside of the porta john, and I don't turn the handle, so it says occupied, so it says unoccupied, so people think there's nobody in there. But I really, I'm just sitting in there, and I have my pants on and my pecker out. And when they open the door, I'm like, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah that sounds this. pretty. Yeah. Sounds pretty crazy. And sometimes they poop between my legs and they pee. We stack oh, each wow. other. Like, we st- we stack each other in there like a Jenga game, and then we pull we pull each other out. Is this pretty gross? No, it's not. It's exhilarating. Well, I'm just That's like, a good question. Like, how do you know? How do you know whose poops are whose? Hey, uh, I guess that will never be answered. I don't know unless you got a poop. Monitor. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of like that. How many licks did it take to get the center of a Tootsie Pop commercial? Like the world or no? Don't you have like a fecal surveillance monitor there? Um, not that I know of. Yeah, like what if one of the guests was like ingesting an illegal substance, and then they're like, "Oh, look, we know it was you because your poo has it inside." Yeah. That poo, that poo is your hue. The poo, yeah, is, like the to, poo is you. I would like to find out. I, would, I actually am very intrigued by that. Yeah. 
That's like when a, a man that has that kind of khaki color, you know his shit's going to be khaki colored. Like, it's ownership. <laughs> Why do people that dress nice... Have you ever noticed that people who dress the nicest at work have, like, the smelliest poops when they use the bathroom? What is that all about? <laughs> I have no idea. Like, at my work, they'll be, like, one of my colleagues will be, like, oh, dress nice. But once they sit down on the toilet, it's like the walls are, like, the paint is peeling off the wall. Yeah, yeah we're all equal <laughs> at that. But when everybody sits on the toilet, we all become equals. And we all <laughs> We all shit. It's like, yeah. oh, that nice cologne you were wearing this morning with your button-down shirt and nicely pressed pants and and and, and dress shoes. Yeah. That's all wiped away by the wall of poo that is smacking me in the face. You know, yeah. I like to think of it as being equal. Like, when the CEO comes, I, like, I know the CEO used the same toilet seat as me, so it doesn't even matter if he was wearing Gucci shoes and sunglasses and a nice, you know, a nice suit. Like, both of our ass cheeks were bare on that toilet when we were equals. We were the same at one point. You got a point. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, one thing I do to feel more equal to people is I'll, like, use a toilet right after they use it. Oh, yeah? I I found myself in a situation where I was following this one person all around the country just watching when they would go to the bathroom. And then I would like follow right behind and use it be like aha now we're, you know it's like plus one minus one gotta yeah. keep the score to zero yeah well that's kind of like my ass is the shank to song of mortal Kombat. like when we press our cheeks against the same toilet seat that someone's already been on i collect their ass soul and it's like your soul is mine and then i drag them to the hell you ever seen that that's how good that's a good movie yeah, yeah he's about mortal to get Kombat. his soul stuck yeah yeah, Shokan is a bitch, though, man. He always, he's, he's just a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> the rooms have an option to swap out the toilet with a dumpster? <laughs> I don't think we do. Because I'm planning on eating, like, Chipotle, and I don't think a toilet is going to fit the hey, bill. Can, can I ask yeah. this guy a serious question? Listen, listen man. So I... <laughs> We just pr- I just prank called this, this 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 hotel right, and I asked her. I said, "Hey, what's the what's the directions?" I was like, "I'm trying to come over there. What's the intersection?" And she started telling me, and so I played this sound effect right here. Right now, now listen. Don't you don't even have to hang up. It's fake. It's fake. I'm telling you, it's fake right now. But when this crashes like this, and I started playing these guys screaming all like this, and then I told her that I crashed into the back of the hotel, took the whole fucking bottom floor out. Would you believe that shit? <laughs> Probably not. she did she was she was yelling people in that lobby were freaking out she was trying to call 911 it was ridiculous <laughs> you'd think she would have heard or felt something if a car smashed into the hotel oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. it was only a two story it was, it, was a, it was a motel it wasn't even a hotel it was a fucking motel and you think she would have felt a tremor of some of some fucking type but no She's freaking out. She's looking. For, she's screaming. Where's my phone? Like if she's on a phone, she's dumb. Yeah. That literally just happened about 20, about twenty minutes ago. <laughs> that's uh, that's yeah, hilarious. She's dumb. Yeah, yeah. I thought so. I thought so. She probably didn't. <laughs> I bet she did. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So do you have any uh do you have any interesting people checking into the hotel tonight? No, nobody any is, any no. adult any adulterers? I was about to ask that too. Any adulterers, <laughs> yes. We're on the same page, yes. I can't say I can't say that there. I don't think we have anyone checking in tonight. Uh, Right. How about any people that have been a, been a real jerk to you that you would like to get a little revenge on? Would you send us to a room? Would, yeah, transfer, transfer us. us. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I've uh, right to a room. Yeah, I don't think there's been anybody that has uh, actually been. Yeah, everybody's nice to me here. Well, what about a lady that turned on your sexual advances? <laughs> yeah, that's a crime. <laughs> 
<laughs> with a laugh like that, like like we'll set the bitch straight. Like don't even worry about it. <laughs> we'll we'll terrorize her until she runs down and and just dives into your manly arms, and then says, "Save me, save me." I don't know. I'm pretty good with the ladies. Oh damn it! I'm not. <laughs> I see. I I basically terrorize them until they until they 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 need safety, and then they come to me. And I'm like, I'm like, I got you, baby, I got you, you know, like that. And, and then, like after after I've had intercourse with them a few different times, and I get tired of them, then I tell them what the whole thing was, and then they they get mad, they start talking about restraining orders, and I say, I don't even want you anymore. So I don't even matter. Don't even waste your time. <laughs> well, you dog. I don't, you. I don't even care. Yeah, I don't. I don't even care. I just I just want the meat. The meats like. Basically, they're an Arby's drive-through to me. I'm like, I'm just there for the meats. That's all. That's all I'm there for. The drive-through meats. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Pretty uh. Oh, he's done. He's, yeah. <laughs> why isn't anybody checking in tonight? I'm not sure. I'm not sure why anybody. Nobody's checking in tonight. Well, well, Ted, because you're supposed to be doing construction there. They're supposed to be getting the fuck out. <laughs> That's right. I guess. Get them. Yeah, Get so them. when are you leaving? When are you leaving so I can knock that building down? Uh, leave at 7 a.m. Oh, yeah, you worked the night shift. Yeah, night shift. Mm-hmm. Well, tomorrow it's going to be a whole different ball game. Yeah. A wrecking ball oh, yeah. game. We're, we're gonna call. We're gonna call everyone and tell them about the deep, deep discounts you're giving at the hotel. Seventy five percent off. Thank you come on down and you you mention your name and you're you're in. You're gonna have all kinds of company. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're, we're gonna, gonna create a enjoy. group on. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna pass out some flyers to the Rectum Rippers convention. Oh, thing, things just got serious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just changed the whole tone <laughs> of the conversation. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where are you from? I'm from the good old city of Buffalo, New York. Huh? Uh, he's, pro- he's probably rooting for those, those, those dirty bird eagles to win on Sunday, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Definitely am. Yeah, well, they're going to lose. Hey, Mike. What's your what's your uh, what's your Super Bowl snack game like? What do you got? <laughs> I, I, I like that. He's like, they might. It's like it's a fifty fifty shot. So yeah, they <laughs> they might. Yeah, skill has nothing to do with it. No, pure chance. Well, well everyone's hurt. Everyone's hurt. Mahomes, he's got a bum ankle. Hurt, Hurst, he's he's all cracked in the ribs and shit. Oh yeah. 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 I mean, I think if you put them in, if you put them in the Coliseum with swords and shields, they might have fewer injuries. Yeah, <laughs> it just might. <laughs> I say we bring back the Coliseum. Yeah, yeah. Maximus Aurelius. Yeah. Do you know they're making a sequel to that? How the fuck do you make a sequel to Gladiator? He's fucking dead. Yeah, he got stabbed and he went to heaven. Yeah, yeah. And Joaquin Phoenix died too. How the hell do you make a sequel to that? They come back. <laughs> ah, yes. Thanks, mother. You're welcome. Uh, it's one of those they go up to heaven and they're like, "Oh, you're not done yet on Earth. You need to go back down." Uh, it's uh, like a, it's a wonderful life where it's like, "Oh, you're gonna... yeah." And they're like, "Look at this. Look at this." They're like Maximus. You need to go back down to Earth to earn your wings. <laughs> oh, one second, gentlemen. Uh, here, I want to unzip this. Can you help me with this? Hey, yeah, I'm unzipping it. Yeah, okay, yeah so that'll look be at be this. Okay. They're doing work. Yeah, this motherfucker works. He puts in work. They haven't been doing work for the last like thirty minutes, but.
<laughs> oh, sounds like a thriller video going on there. Play, play the old creepy lady sound. Yeah, oh. that's pretty dope. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I need a mas- okay, I'm like, yeah. I need the masturbation or okay. Oh. Oh. okay, that's that's the sound. Oh. Isn't that disturbing? Oh. Oh. Yeah, it is. A little bit. It sounds like a like a fifty something lady rediscovering sex or something. Oh. I don't know. Oh. 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 It's just so disturbing. Oh. Oh, Very oh disturbing. Oh, oh. I don't know. I'm aroused. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to. Uh, I've decided that that's that's not a s- sensual sound. She's actually uh, practicing karate. She's going ha ha. Oh, no, that's 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 oh, tantric oh, diarrhea right there. Oh, so. Wax on, oh, wax oh, off. Let's karate do, kid. Do you believe sweep? <laughs> Yeah, do you believe sweep the leg is a uh, a good instruction right here with that lady? Uh, no, nah, she sounds like she could take know, it. Yeah, you know what? They always gave Crazy like real bad shit about that. They're like, "Oh, he's a fucking dick." No, like you know, uh, Daniel Larusso's leg was hurt. Like that was the perfect instruction. Like sweep the fucking leg. Like yeah, use it I, to your advantage. I, I don't. That's stupid shit. Yeah, I was say, yeah, was a jerk. Right? He was a low yeah. level genius. I know uh, exactly. Uh, Mr. Miyagi, so gotta, he 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 really he was a dickhead. He was in the child labor. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Miyagi should be in jail. Oh yeah. He beat up yeah, kids. Daniel LaRusso <laughs> was not an adult. <laughs> oh, yeah, you he, know was what? In the under, he was in the 18 and under tournament. Yeah, he was. He wasn't yeah. of age. Fucking Mr. Kid. Miyagi. Yeah, you should, look, you should look up. You should look up printcast. dot com. Printcast. dot com. Yeah, yeah. There's 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 shit on there. There's live shit. <laughs> printcast. dot com. Yeah, yeah. That's good. I'm telling you, it's because it's good stuff. I want to get when we, when we disconnect, like it'll be the perfect place for you to go check out. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm on here right now. Yeah. Printcast. dot com. Yeah, there's some homeboys on there, some cousins. <laughs> it just might be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, any any suggestions? Uh, there's an asshole that's live right now. It's probably at the top and it's spinning. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like click here, motherfucker. That's what it says. It's like, hey, motherfucker, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should play that. You should play that work. Yeah, you, you know what? I just play. You know what? Yeah. I think. I think I will. Uh, I think I will play it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's live shows on there all throughout the week. Oh, yeah. I see. <laughs> Hi, Hotel yeah, Man. Uh, hello, uh, Snappy Bakes. Snappy, <laughs> 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 ah, saw you. Ah. Hey, that's me. That's you? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a beep. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, everybody say hi. Everybody's like, motherfucker, yeah. Hi. You have an awesome laugh. I love it. Oh, <laughs> thank humor. you. Yes, yes, yes. These guys are funny. <laughs> that was dope. So this might have put y'all up to this. <laughs> Neither do I. Only whiskey. Good man. Good man. Or a good bourbon. Or Wh- whiskey, whiskey, whiskey weeds? Whis- whiskey marijuana? 
But I hey, if they got it, I'll try it. <laughs> yeah. Just, just, you just pickle some marijuana and some whiskey. Yeah. Hey, that might that might actually work out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Leon. Hello, Leon. If you want to shout out Leon, if you want to be a real G. What's going on, Leon? <laughs> yeah. Dwight well, yeah, and Jenner. Be a real G, oh, yeah, that's, you. <laughs> that's me. Oh, nice. Leanna Haber Dashery. That that's Dashery. Nice. Pretty interesting names on here. <laughs> shout out to prankcast dot com. Oh my god. I gotta shout y'all out on my podcast. Yeah, y'all you got a podcast? Yeah, Nerd Boys Podcast. We are we are oh, on Spotify, shit. Apple. Talk about all kinds of crazy, crazy shit, and uh, hey, give us a listen, and I'll definitely shout out printcast dot com. Oh fuck yeah! Man. Look at you with your side hustle. AK Spa is live. All right, AK Spa, I like it. Yeah, I got the weirdo. You gotta watch out. You gotta watch out for him. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta watch I have out a restraining him. order against him. Hey, <laughs> well, I don't do the restraining orders. Y'all all right by me? Have fun talking about shit. I'm pretty sure he stole my identity. <laughs> don't give him any personal info is what I'm saying. He will steal from you. <laughs> the Nerd Boys Podcast, cat number wang. And what color are my testicles? Uh, I'm a black guy, so I'm pretty sure that they're uh, some type of brownish. Yeah, they're khaki. Nerd yeah, exactly. boys. Nerd boy, like you talk about technology or what? All kinds of crazy Nerd. stuff. Xbox, Playstations. All boy, uh, boys with a Z, like boys to men. Yeah. Yeah. Serial killers. Sometimes we just kind of, kind of just kicking and talk. Oh yeah, oh, look at this <laughs> serial killer episode. Oh, you talk about the sports ball. Yeah. So slap your dick on the phone for Devin. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, fucking, fucking <laughs> well, like I said, see, see, seeing as I'm, seeing as I'm a black guy, I could probably reach up there. There you go. Oh Did yeah. Right in the throat. Right in the throat. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> and again, uh, the, the Nerd Boys podcast. Looking through the comments right now. This is hilarious. What about dog you got a five star rating. Look at that. Nice. You're five out of five. Hey. Hey, must have been the one the one listener that we actually do got. <laughs> all right, we all gotta start somewhere. That's where it starts. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> all right, this is getting weird now. Yeah, well, it is we need weird. to go be degenerates. Yeah. Oh, we need right. to go be our degenerate selves and call more people. Yeah. Oh, see, there you go. Go ahead, fuck more shit up. I will definitely keep y'all. <laughs> Great sound effect. <laughs> well, here's a shot of water for the working man. The nerd boy is out. Hey, thank you for your time. Peace. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Downtown Buffalo, Claire at Marriott. This is Tanika speaking. How can I help you? Hey, let me hear your laugh. I'm sorry? Yeah, laugh laugh for me. I want to gauge your laugh. If your laugh is good enough, I'll, I'll let you have intercourse with me. Thank you for calling the Buffalo Marriott at Leecom Harbor Center. Please hold. I don't know. I don't know how, what the dosage was. That's the issue. Because I made oil and I don't Good evening, know. Buffalo Marriott Leecom Harbor Center. How may I assist you? Yeah. Hello? Hi. Hi, my brother is here. We've been, we've been driving and drinking. Uh, I, how many is too many when I get in the room? 
I'm so sorry. What What do you mean? Well, my brother, he's got his fingers, and he's been tickling. How many is too many when I get in the room? Okay, I'm going to have to let you go. Thank you so much. Quality in. This is Paul speaking. How can I help you? Hi, I'm an astrophysicist. Uh, how many units of plasma is too much to bring into the room with me? I have no clue. All right, well, they're, they're the size of, you know, like a harmonica. How many harmonicas do you think would fit in the room with me safely? I have no clue. All right, well, what's the square footage of your average room? I have no idea. Well, how many people can fit in the room? Four people. All right, so four people, so there's two beds, I, I assume, right? Hello. Hello. Hi. Yep. How many harmonicas do you think can fit in one of your rooms? Because we, we're harmonica salesmen. We gotta you, bring our you? goods in because we're afraid of things getting, you know, taken in the night. Are you in room or what? Well, we're gonna come there. We're gonna get there. We're gonna we're gonna lie in the room, but we want to bring our merchandise in with us, you know. Uh, actually, I'm not getting you. What are you trying to say? Well, I want to bring my merchandise from my vehicle into the room with me and my wife and our son and our brother-in-law. Would that be all right? And how much? How many harmonicas do you think we can fit? How, how big is the room? Is what I'm asking. Yeah. So you want a room for tonight? Oh, yeah, for four people. Yeah, so the one room with the two bed is going to cost you $120 after tax. Okay, how many of these here harmonicas can we fit in the room with us? So you four can fit in a one room. There are two four beds in the Four harmonicas? Sorry? All right, we can fit four harmonicas in the room with us. That's what you're saying. Yeah, there are two beds in one room. How many harmonicas in one room? What are, what are you exactly asking? I don't get you. I'm playing. We're playing harmonicas, and we're we're gonna bring our harmonicas in the room. And how many of them can we fit with us? They're the size of say like a half a cell phone, but double as thick. Oh, that I don't know. I don't. I don't know about that. How many? We like to blow on. We like to blow our instruments and, and suck on our instruments. Yeah, but you cannot. Uh, you cannot play it right now because it's night. So. Oh, we're going to play it. all night. That's what we do. We're harmonicists. No, but you cannot play right all night because it's going to be the other guests are going to disturb for that. Oh, no, we play silently. See, I can play real silently like this. Yeah, but... No, that's not possible. Uh, no, it's possible. Look, 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 listen. Let, just listen here. Yeah, it's good out. It's good out. Oh, what, you gonna throw us out? It's loud. Well, I can play silently. Just, just listen. Here, just listen. Turn, turn up your healing, hearing aid there. Listen, listen. Just here. Hold on one second. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's not allowed in the room. It's very, it's very quiet. Out. Yeah, but quiet, that's not allowed in the room. Sir. Here, let, talk You're to my ignoring wife. the question, sir. I'm sorry, but I'm not getting you what you're trying to say. Well, maybe you understand no. the. I heard you had a lovely sister. <laughs> and 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 perhaps she has a lovely guy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not getting you sorry for that. Oh, you understand Terry Makichut? No. Oh, I'm sorry then. I, I, I'm fully, I'm fully sorry about that then. Now, see, I can play this thing a real night. Yeah, but that's not allowed at the night because the other guests can complain it to you. So that's not allowed at night. We learned to play on GB Road. 
I don't know that. I don't even know how to play this thing. I sell the damn things. Well, all right, I'm done with you. I'm sorry. Okay. I done a disservice. Bloody! Bloody fuck! Thank you for calling me, Mr. Tim. What can I have you? Hi. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm calling because there's some there's a guy who's making a lot of noise in the room next to me. And he keeps knocking on my door, uh, and he's playing a harmonica. And he's trying to tell me about how great they are, and he's trying to sell me one. Okay, so what room are you in? Uh, well, I'm in 211. 211. And you are hearing a noise yeah. from 29 or 213? 213. He's, uh, he, he's, playing, he's playing really loud music. It sounds like... Polka or harmonica, and he keeps okay. telling me. He says, "Oh, it's it's coming back. It's coming back. It's the greatest." That's what he keeps telling me. And then, oh, oh, oh my God, he's 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 kicking my door. Oh, my, holy okay, shit! I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Just a minute. I'm coming. Oh my God! Oh my shit! Oh no! He's, oh my God! Oh my shit! Thank you for calling pilot. This stuff is speaking. How may I help you? Hey, how you doing there, you asshole? Uh, when, when are you guys going to come up and bring that shit to my room like you promised? I'm in the well, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Well, I, dude, dude, I called down here uh, all the time. The pilot, listen, I, I've, I've got my bedding and everything. I got it all spread out here in the shower. And, uh, you know, I paid my $11, 12 whatever the fuck it is there. I got the sleeping bag. It's laid out on the floor. You guys said you were going to bring me some more towels. That would be... Hello. Not that one. Hi. Hello? Hello. Hi. Hi. Why did, why did you do it? Do what? Well, you guys keep knocking on the door, and we're up here trying to perform liposuction on this fat motherfucker we got in the room. Which room? Well, we're in two, we're in two fifteen, and Doctor Doctor Now he lost his uh, he lost his doctor his practice doctor in the strip mall, so we're up here and we're talking about their eating habits, and we're we're sucking the fat from their their lymph nodes. And from the stomachs? Room 215? Yeah. Uh, we're making her bite a, bite a pillow. Uh, 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 well, sir, we don't have room 15 here, so... No, 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 no. 215. 215. There is no room number that says room 215. Okay, well, what room am I in then, stupid? What, what's your name? My name is Dwight, and I'm a criminal. All right, then. You should call the police, then. Why? I don't want to be arrested. I did, I checked into this with a stolen credit card, and now I'm in here, and I'm performing malpractice. What room number? I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. Which one did I pay for a stolen credit card? Your name is Dwight, you said? Yes, I am a criminal. And there's no one Dwight in the hotel right now? No, no. D. D E E, and the last name is White. W H I T E. D White. Yeah, there's no one that is Mr. White in here. But, but I have privileges. 1D White. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. What the puncher? Thank you for calling the Eastern Suites. I may help you today. No, no, that's what I'm telling you guys. Is like if we get another person to come up here, like we can take their toes. Uh, hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, sir, um, we're help out of, you. Yeah, we're out of towels in this room. Okay, what's the room number? Uh, 215? 
Uh, sir, that is not a room here. What What do you mean? It's an odd number room. 215 is not a room number here. Okay. Well, uh, what's, what is what's the your last name? There? What's the last your last name? name is Johnson with two N's, J O H N S O N N. That is not a name of anyone staying at this hotel either. Well, I'm not staying under my name. I stole a credit card. Uh-oh. Hi, this is the Francesco Hotel, Kirky. How may I assist you? Hi, Brad is a saint. He's a saint. You know, he was my server, and he is a saint. He's a saint. He's a saint. He made sure that I was able to digest my food correctly. He's a saint. Hello? Hi. Yeah, Brad is a saint. I can't eat hard food. Brad is a saint. Yeah, he okay. showed me the ways of the telephone. He's a saint. He told me to take the crystal out of my toaster and then attach it to the radio. And then I could talk to the people through the box, you know. He's a saint, I swear, he's a saint. Yeah. And then he showed me how to steal uh, phone calls. Uh, oh, loopy. Four Seasons Resort, Ranch Encantado. This is Elias. How may I assist you this evening? Hi, I'm a little loopy, and I've been making poopy in my doopy. Is there a cleaning facility for my cloth diaper at the moment? Oh, uh, what casita are you in, sir? Oh, I'm not. I'm outside. Of the resort? Yeah, yeah, but my friend's staying there. I don't know what any of his information is. So I met him at the bar, but he said, you know, come on by. You know, we can make poopy in our doopy. Hey, let me put him on. Here, he's here. Here, take yeah, the phone. Yeah, go ahead. Hi. Um, we're, we're, we're a part of a uh, fetish website, and we just got here. And uh, the, it, it, it sounds what weird, but we wear interest? cloth diapers. And we, sh- we, we trade the cloth diapers. I shit in his diaper. He shits in my diaper. And then we wear them. But, but only for a few minutes because that's disgusting. Now we need to wash them. Oh, okay. Yeah. What casita are you in? And what am I what in? Well, which room are you staying in, sir? Oh, oh, 215, of course. I only stay in odd number of rooms because I have a problem. Uh, what was it? Oh, it's the room. I, I, I'm in the toilet here, and there's a man sitting here, and he told me to pee through his legs. Is that normal? What? No. Yeah. <laughs> What's All happening? Right, well, well, he told me, you know, come in here, come here in here. It's, it's fine. There's only one stall. He's He's got to keep using it. And there's another guy there. That, but uh, He told me, hey, just come in here, just pee between my legs. I don't know if that's normal. <laughs> Is this real? Yeah, it's real. Why would I call if it wasn't real? <laughs> are you are you I in the bathroom right now? Phones. Yeah, let me give him the phone. You can talk to him. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. Hang on, hang hang on, on, yeah, what's second. going on? Hang on. No, I... Hey, you got to move your legs further apart. I'm not going to be able to aim there. Yeah, just aim nope. right there. Yeah, but your balls are in the way. I feel like this is a carnival game. That's it's okay. Circuit. It's all right if you hit one. All right. You win a prize. Uh, y- hey, you know that game where you shoot the squirt gun into the clown's mouth and the balloon blows up and then it pops? Kind yeah, of what's yeah. going on here, but with, yeah, but with his balls. And he has bubble gum in his mouth, and as I pee on his balls, he blows up the, the you bubble got gum. One. All right, guys. Well, oh, good luck with that, all right? What I win. What I win. What I win. Right. What I win. All right. All right. Have fun. Thank you for calling Best Western. How does it end? This is Ashley. How can I help you? Hi, Ashley. Hi. 
Kai. Hey, can you move more? Can you move more to the left a little bit? Good evening. Thank you for calling the Belvada Hotel. This is Gloria. How can I assist you? Hi, Gloria. Hello. Can you move to the left just a little bit? That's better. I can hear you better now. No, I can hear you better now. Thank you for moving to the left. So uh, the re- the reason I'm calling is um, I need an apple brought to my room. I wouldn't be able to do that. Well, I, I, well, can I come down and get one? Do you have some laying out where the continental breakfast would be served? We don't have a continental breakfast, so we don't have any apples. But somebody brought food up to my room this morning and left it outside and I ate it. And now I'm feeling a little bit weird. They left an organ out here. I've been playing it all day. I've been feeling really inspirational. Watch, I'm going to play it right here. Hang on, let me hit a few keys for you. And so now I need I need some of them vitamins from the apples. I unfortunately can't help you with that. Why why is that? We don't have apples. Oh. Well, in the morning then? We won't have we don't have continental breakfast, so no. Ah! Ah! But I'm hungry. I need food. I need something. What? Who's screaming? There's a lot of background screaming. Is anybody dying? In my in in my room? No. There's a cock on the phone. Yeah, th- this is the this is the lady that put the potato cakes at the at the door. Was she a country girl? Yeah, I met her on FarmersOnly.com. Oh man, That's she cool. got some Adam apple. Adam's apples are the best. Yeah, horse apple. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's going out again. Is there anything else I can help you guys with? Uh, This baby needs to be washed. Do you have a baby wash? I mean, there's a car wash, but I don't know if they allow babies to be washed, though. Here, let's wash the baby. Here we go. We're washing, we're washing the baby. Washing the baby. Wash that baby. Yeah. Oh, the baby's not happy. Ooh, no. Oh. Well, there's nothing else. I'm going to have to go You guys have a great day. Goblet. Calling the Comfort Inn in Tonopah, Nevada. This is Justin. How can I assist you? Hey, Justin. Can you move to the left just a little bit? Why? Just just take two steps to the left. Thank you for calling the Comfort Inn in Tonopah, Nevada. This is Justin. How can I assist you? Justin, just a little bit to the left. The, The line is bad. I, my line is just a straight connection. Just two steps to the left. Okay. One, two. Very good, very good. All right, you're to the left. All right. So now we need to make a discussion about what's going on in my room. What's up? All right, hang on, guys. Shut him up real quick. Um, so... Towels. If I have to take towels with me and they're not accounted for in the room, uh, what is the damage on my credit card going to be? Shut the fuck up! I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that. 
Okay, you guys put towels in here before I checked in. I'm just trying to figure yeah. out if they're not here when I leave, what am I going to get charged? Uh, I honestly don't know that. No one's asked before, so I've never had to figure that out. Well, these towels are going to have to go with me. So I'm just trying to see, what what are you going to charge? The, the only thing I could think of would be if you'd call back in about 15-ish minutes when the, the night shift is here. He's been here a lot yeah. longer than I have, so he would know what it would be. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, his name's Robert. Robert? Yeah, All he's right. been here a lot longer oh, than Robert. me. He would know. Alright. How long has Robert been there? I want to say a few years now. A few years, Robert. Yeah, Do you know what his hire date was? No. Okay. I've only been here a few what months. What about myself. a few months? All right. Now let's take a look here. All right. And what blood type is he? I'm sorry? Blood type. I'm just, I'm putting the report together. It's for HR. I, I have no idea. Okay. And do you know what he likes to eat in order to get uh, enough iron in his blood? Shutter's front desk. This is Wyatt. How may I help you? Hey, Wyatt. Hello. Wyatt. Hi. Uh, I got a little bit of a problem here. Okay. I'm. Uh, I'm in. I'm in the. I'm. I somehow made it into the vents and don't know how to get out. <laughs> You're where? In the vents? In, yeah, I rolled out of bed, uh, and I didn't get the correct footing, and I fell, and somehow, I it seems I'm, like, I see the grate, and I see another room, but it's solid. I don't know how to, I don't know how to get out. Uh, so where, what room were you in? I, I, well, I was residing in, I was in 215. And okay. like I said, I set my alarm on my phone. It went off and it startled me. And I rolled out of bed. And I, I, I don't remember falling into anything, but I fell off of the bed. And all, I, I'm in a vent and I see people's feet, but they won't acknowledge me. I keep yelling at them. Oh, well. Let me, would I be able to get to you if I go to your room? Well, I have no idea. I mean, this is your establishment. Like I said, I, I was startled, fell out of bed, and I'm in the vents. Okay, then your, what was the room again? Just to make sure I didn't miss you. Okay, then I will be right there, good sir. Well, how, how does this work? Do you have a screwdriver? Yes, I can definitely help you out. You're just going to have to give me one minute, okay. and I apologize for that. Oh, all right. Do you have a – I need something to eat because I'm hungry, and I've been in the vent for a few minutes. Do you have a grilled cheese sandwich? I do not. Um, okay, can you make, can you make one and then bring it? Yeah, if, I would appreciate that, because if we don't get this bent off like fairly quickly, I'm going to need to be fed. Yeah, okay. We will definitely All right. do what we can. And, 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 and don't, use, don't, don't, don't use that craft shit, the craft single shit. I'm freshly grated like Colby Jack, please. Okay, we will see what we can do for you, good sir. Tomatoes, mayo, lettuce, turkey... 
uh, pepper, yep. crushed red pepper, salt, uh, a panini bread pressed, lifted, crust cut off, uh, ranch on the side, heated, massaged, glass of milk, orange juice. L- listen, I'm not really. I'm listen. I'm not really str- stuck in the bath. I'm just hungry, and I need someone to just just make some fucking food for me. <laughs> so, what is the real situation that is going on? I'm hungry. Okay. I need someone to bring me up a gr- a gr- a gr- I, gr- a gr- I want somebody to bring some grilled cheese up here and rub my belly. I got the I got the food pains. Hello. What can I do for you tonight? He said he was gonna. He said he was gonna put the manager on. I'm not sure why you're on the phone. Oh, because I'm the manager. But you're a woman. Crazy, right? 2023. Yeah. Do you? Hang on. Do you, does somebody speak English? So you have good uh, night. I know a lot. Hello. Did you just call the Sundown Lodge? Excuse me. Did you just call the Sundown Lodge for help? My phone wouldn't connect. Who are you? Who are you? You just called a business. I'm calling you back. What? Sundown Lodge, how can I help you? Yeah, I called for help, and then you called and yelled at my wife. What's your problem? Absolutely did not. I called and said, Sundown Lodge, how can I help you? And she started saying, who the F is this, blah, blah, blah. I actually was here with another employee when I did that, but how can I help you? Yeah, it's because you sprayed your estrogen all over the phone and you got in her eye. And so, like, that's very rude of you. Well, it happened. Maybe. Days in Malvia? I don't know. What what is your skill set that you think you'll be able to help me? What was that? What is your skill set? I don't understand. What do you sir. think your What are your skills? Do you have none? What do you mean skills? my skills? Pizza making skills. What what you said you're going to help me, but I need to know what your I skill need- set is. What is your plus 1 HP powers? Help you. Hi. Hi. Is your lovely sister there? Who is speaking? Oh, I'm Frankie. I want to see your lovely sister. She told me to call. And this is her number. This is the Holiday Motel. Oh, is this the. Uh, is this Gand? Gand Hotel? Huh? Which one? The Lund Gand Motel, where your lovely sister resides? Oh, no, sir. This is Holiday Motel. Holiday or Holy Day? Because the Holy Day is Sunday. And usually on Sunday, I I uh, I rest in a room and I take my clothes off and I stare at the ceiling. Fuck you. This is Holiday mirror. Motel. Excuse and you me? want to take your clothes off, you do your home. Yeah, I take my That's clothes right. off in the room. Honey. Home. Jesus Christ, honey. Come over and take your clothes off. <laughs> I disagree. Hello, uh, Jesus. Um, in my room, uh, this is a problem. What your room? Oh, uh, I'm in uh, two fifteen, and my, is, when I, I walked to my room, my my, my clothes fell off. Two, I don't have room number two fifteen. My clothes fell off, and my pecker was out. I don't have room number two fifteen. One. One one five, one fifteen. I don't have one fifteen either. Listen, my dick's out. I'm naked in my you, room right you, now. I don't know who is the son of a bitch. You okay? No, listen to me. <laughs> I just think. Okay. The desk. Hi. 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 Is it front desk? Hi. 
Why aren't you saying hi back? I'm not sure what's going on here. Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Do you have all your toes? The circus is back in town, dear. Do you need some tickets? I'm watching you through the goddamn window right now. Does that make sense? Thank you for calling the Fairfield of Winnemucca. How may I help you? Yeah, you got some Adam's apples uh, down there? Adam's apples? I want to put my lips on them, yeah. I want to kiss them a little bit. No, we do not got Adam's apples, bro. No Adam's apples? And what are you? I'm sorry, I think I'm a little confused on what you're asking me. I was looking for apples. From Adam's? Apples? Yeah. My girlfriend said she was sending me some Adam's apples in a gift basket. It was supposed to be up there. No, there have not been any apples. Well, can I come down there and kiss your Adam's apple? Come on down, man. All right, man. I'll see you in a minute, all right? Yep. All right, I'll wear my dress, too. Yes. Candlewood Sweets, this is Cassandra. How may I help you? Yes, hello, dear. My, my son, he was, he was staying there, and he told me that uh, he's gotten in a bit of trouble. Now, I, I, you have to understand, he has a, a disability where he keeps pulling his trousers down. Now, I told him, oh, now don't you do that again, dear. But he said, oh, Mum, I've done it again, I've done it again, and I've got my willy out, and I'm shaking up the about. To and fro, to and fro, and he pointed it out. Oh, you don't want to kiss me. 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 Uh, my brother and I are having a winter romance in the room. We wanted to know if you had any grease down there. One house motel. Yeah, Hello? what he meant to say is we're having a we're making a vagina swirl inside of a woman right now, not with each other, you sick bitch. What the hell are you talking about? You hung up on my brother because you thought me and him were fornicating together when you didn't even listen to me. Who are clearly. you talking we to? Have, I'm you don't talking even to you. Know who you're talking to, dude? I'm talking to you, what the hell? hussy. Man, do you want to talk to this guy? Sure. He, he, he said I just hung up on him because I said him and his brother. Hello? Hi. Hello? You tell that bitch she needs to go back to training, okay? She needs to go walk her ass back bitch? to the kitchen and learn some goddamn manners. That's my wife. You, you okay. Punk. Will you what, tell that? On, what's going on over here? If I can find out, buddy. Ah, go, ah, call my wife a ah. bitch. You're stupid. Yeah, I called her a hussy, too. Called her a hussy. I called her a bitch. Yeah. Hey, listen. You don't fuck straight, okay? You know, dude, you're not even talking to the right person. You might find out who you're talking to before you go off on something. Hey, are you drunk? I listen, never you, talked you're to drunk. you or anybody else. You're tr- you're drunk. Again, see it. It's all good inside the machine, you know. Yeah, but that's where the ointment got to get rubbed. Yeah, but you gotta get more grease from the hotel guy. Hey, is he on? Hey, oh. you there? Front desk. Re- Regency in front desk. Okay, perfect. Do you got any room grease? Because we're trying to slip it in, but we're having trouble. Yeah, the room grease. I'm sorry. Which the room? grease for the room? Well, the the room, the grease that had the room that has the grease in it. You know, we called down earlier. 
You said you had room grease, grease. For us. You were gonna come. Yeah. Nobody called here. Grease. You said you had room I grease called. with extra meat droppings. Extra? Yeah, extra meat droppings. You said you, meat you had drop- it. Yeah, for the room grease. Room now let me put grease. my brothers on. I'm, I'm. It's it's the GB GB grease, you know. GB room grease. Sorry, wrong number. Hey, Chutia, don't talk to me like that. You have to have respect when you talk. A wrong number. Hey, Salahara, put that away, Chutia. Put that away. All right. There's a lot here. Traffic Super 8. Hello. Hi, it's Traffic Super 8. Uh, my room crackers are stale. <laughs> uh, you staying at the Stratford Super 8? Yeah, I, the complimentary uh, what room are Ritz you and hummus, 215. Yeah, the, the complimentary the, crackers the are really stale. Room? I bet they are. Gond. Bow. What? Pow. Hello, Ryan. How can I help you? Hi, I, re- I clicked the wrong button on my phone. I called you. Now, I... Oh, I can hear what? myself. Oh, who called you? You called me. No, man. This is a prontess. I don't know who called you. Well, someone called up here and told me that you was the front front desk and you wanted me to take off my panties and there was no, a camera man. in the toilet. No, no, no. I don't know who called you. Well, it, it said that it was you at the front desk. No, no, he's lying, you know. We don't call anybody. Well, I'm taking off my panties and I'm doing it in front of this web camera. How did he I know? don't know, you know. He's lying. I don't know who called you now, why he told the front desk. I he don't know. He was the front desk man, and he was on the Wi-Fi, and he was watching me do my business. No, man. I don't well, know who called you, and no, this, ben. I don't know, sir. Ben. <laughs> okay, bye. Ben called us. Yeah, it was ben. ben. Are you Ben, Cho? Sir? Hello? Hello? Hey, what? how are you, Harami? How are you? How can I help you? How are you? How are Who you, Haram Jarikuta? Shut up. I am the... Concierge on the line. It reminds me of the Jin Stewart calls. Whenever you would call them and say those words, they'd be like, Thank Who are you, Haram? Thank you, Haram. I've been 944. This is Don. How may I help you? Hi. 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 Me and my friend are doing a Ouija board in our room right now. Okay. Yeah, we, we, the, the, we, the spirit has a message for you. They said to call the front desk. Okay. It says, fuck you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's a bad spirit. All right, have a good day. Thank it you. Hey, me. our, our, our room champagne is flat. Bring more. Post haste. We don't have champagne, sir. Hampane. Yes, she I have the room she, champagne, the she complimentary. Doesn't have, she doesn't have hampane. We don't have champagne. I don't know what hampane is. Well, it's champagne to the layperson. But yes, my room champagne is flat. We do not serve champagne in our hotel rooms. Thank you. No, no, the, ma'am, ma'am, it's a woman up here. Her name is Champagne. She's flat. Hey, now, she can't control that. Okay. She's good, she's Is good there anything insight. else I can do for you? Shut up. Yes, your 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 accommodations are not very luxurious, and they're below my standards as as a man. I'm sorry to hear that. So, what are you going to do about it? More room champagne, maybe a Chablis, a Merlot, a Cabernet. Oh yeah. What are you going to bring to the room? I'm not bringing anything to the room. 
We do not have not even in mind. Not even like those little sausages no, in the sir. blanket, the little pigs in a blanket. Well, I'm going to watch the Super Bowl in this room. What do you got in terms of Super Bowl snacks? We don't. But what is your snack spread like? You got seven-layer dip? No, sir, we do buffalo not. Buffalo wings. Store brand ruffles with a tub of sour cream and onion dip. You don't have any of these things? I do not. Is there anything I can and do she, for you right now? She, Listen, listen, ma'am, you're about as useful as a shopping cart with a learning disability, yes, okay? Thank you for calling Jerry and Sweets. This is David. How can I help you? Hey, David, how are you? Good, how are you? Uh, well, I want to know who brought the fruit basket. Oh, Who's yeah. got the fruit basket? Yeah, who brought it up here? Oh my God, no, that's pure. Oh, that's pure. Oh fuck. Who brought Thank it up you. here? Like we're trying to figure it out. Somebody knocked on our door, and it was, it was. God damn. Oh fuck. That I have no idea. That's that's New York quality there. Well, yeah, they said it was pixie your... stick. Uh, uh, they said it was pixie stick, but I don't believe it. Pixie well, bring them on down to the display. desk and share. Oh, this is fucking seventies quality. Yeah, this is like what Chevy Chase used when he made oh. you know all those movies. Yeah, I think they brought that to the wrong room. If oh. you if you guys want to bring it down here to the desk, I'll make sure it gets to the right person. Oh, no, you didn't put in on this, man. Do what? You didn't put in on this, man. Oh, what this you is one. Oh, fuck. So you're not gonna share? Mm. Well, no, we might be obligated to now. You might I turn us so. in and get us in trouble. I wouldn't do that. As long as you share. Oh, this. Hey, you're listen. not a narc. Yeah. No, unless man. you're putting in on this. Uh, unless you're putting in on this crystallized well, vagina you just, slime. You just said you got it for free. Somebody dropped it off at your door. Why should I put it yeah, on some free they said stuff? Something we about... all share and enjoy. Yeah, they said something about this hotel being a crack house. I don't know what that meant. Ah, uh, no, not crack. We don't we don't cook it. We like it in a pure form. Oh. Yeah, you, you like the raw, gluten free, vegan variety. Yeah, I don't, right, I don't, I don't like that, that teams, ghetto stuff. Teams, I like the real deal. Teams, teams ghetto position, stuff. Teams in position now. He just admitted to it. Teams in position. Yeah. All right, everyone in position. I'm ready. All right, everyone. Switch position. Are you in the next position? I am in the next position. Okay. Are you? Is everybody else? Switch position again. Look, I'm not in a position. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got another call coming in. The I got to let you guys bad. go. You enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. There Thank you for calling my, uh, myself, Sister Springfield. This is Hi. Hey, hey. Oh, shit. Ask him. Yeah, Ask you him. got, do you got a, anything to saw through, like, the ankle monitor strap and, like, a steel leg manacle, manacles? You got anything uh, down there that can saw? You got anything yeah. there to saw? A saw? Let me put he my need, brother on. I'm, I'm. He needs a guy. bolt cutters. He needs a bolt cutters. You got bolt cutters? We need to get this tracking monitor off his foot. No, I do not have a no bolt cutter. Check my every move. Yeah, I don't like how when he's on parole, he can't go around with me. So we need to get this thing off. Well, that's on y'all. I don't know what to tell you because I don't want to be a part of that. Oh, okay. Well, could you help with the room champagne? Because it's very flat. Aliens took me away in the ship. What but champagne? We don't serve champagne here. Oh, there was champagne in the room. Uh, I thought it yeah. was complimentary. Hey, what's uh, this white oops. stuff over here? Ooh. I think that's pixie sticks. I don't know. Maybe it's not pixie sticks. It makes me feel like Chevy Chase. 
And what room are y'all in? 215. Okay. Well, I uh, have a day Holiday road. Holiday road. Hello. Oh, what's your name? Uh, do- Thank you for calling the Fairfield. How may I help you? Is all hey, 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 what, what, oh yeah. Hey, what? Is she there? Hello. Uh, yeah, it's Audrey there. Hello. I'm sorry, who? Audrey. Aubrey. No, there's no Aubrey that works here. Is there Andrew oh. or Steve? That guy who was down there earlier told us to call at this hour because you'd know what was up, you know? Yeah, we're your personal trainers. The corporate oh, said yeah. that oh, the staff yeah. um, spends too much time like in one spot. So we're sort of instituting this fitness program where we're going to like give you guys like basic training I'm gonna run around the bull sorry i'm sorry i have a guest you might have put you on hold you're not a guest <laughs> i'm uh yeah whoa she can story there was a ghost there best western row haven front desk how can i help you Hey, can I ask you a question? Yes, what's up? Uh, when you hired him, because I'm look, I'm looking on uh, online right now, and there's a listing for a front desk person. What did what did you get hired in at? What was your wage when you got in? Um, we are not allowed to discuss our wage. Well, I mean, no, no, no. I, I'm saying theoretically, if I were to hire in, what would I probably be starting at? I'm trying to figure out if this ad is real or not. Um, I know we're hiring, but I'm not quite sure what our starting wage is. That's to be discussed with the managers. What? What? What is it? Is it north of twelve dollars? Just being honest. I mean, I am not quite sure. I don't ask my coworkers what they make. Okay. All right. Well, well let me ask you this then, uh, um, uh, bitch. Don't you want to start making some real fucking money, or? Hey there! I accidentally vaporized something in the room. Hey. <laughs> Sure, about Hilton, how may I help you? Hi. No, I, I'm telling you, my dick is supposed to look like that. Dude, your phone sucked. Hello? 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 Uh, we we accidentally vaporized the uh, the room phone in the microwave. How how much do we owe you? Hold on, say that again? She was my sister. What? My, my brother's saying something real dirty. Well, we accidentally vaporized the room phone in the uh, microwave there. How much do I owe yeah, you? What room yeah, are you in? The phone was too cold. Well, we were trying to go back in time, and we used the phone. We thought, well, if we can... Oh, boy. Thank you for calling Hotel hey, Vandervoort. This is Anna. How can I help you? Vandervoort. I'm telling you, dude, she she told me not to wear a fucking condom. I don't, it burns. Hello? The van- Thank you for calling Hotel Vandevoort. This is Anna. How can I help you? Hi, is this the Hotel Voldemort? Yes. How can I help you? Yes, it is. Hi. I'd like to make a reservation. You'd like to make a reservation? Yes. Yeah, but with a Z. <laughs> Like, you know, like boys to men, B-O-Y-Z, reservations with a Z. I have an image to uphold. All right, give me just one second. Yeah. Like nerd boys, but with a Z. With a Z. Bitch. Antonio Montana. Are you a political prisoner from Cuba? Hey. You want to ask some ice cream with my friend and me? What, you got the Lost Boys in there? What are you wanting to make this reservation for? Um, 
in the year 2035 on a Friday at 12 p.m. Firewalls. Hi, thanks Hello? for calling Mount Vernon. This is Dalton. How can I help you? Hi. Hey, I'm, so I'm sitting down here, and I'm, I'm, I'm sniffing on the Wi-Fi, and I, I, I'm watching a, a person undress through the webcam because I'm a, I'm a penetration hacker. And I just want to let you know that your, your Wi-Fi is insecure because anyone can st- just walking by can get in and look at the show. Wow, look at I'm that. I'm sorry? Yeah, there's a lady in your hotel. She's taking off her trousers. And it's on the Wi-Fi network. There's a show. Oh, Dean Tester. Yeah. Quality in Mount Vernon. Hi, I'm a Pen 15 Club tester here. I've gotten into your Wi-Fi networks. I just want to let you know there's a lady in one of your rooms and she's taking off her clothes. And I can really? see it on her webcam. Yeah. Mm. You want uh, wow. you want to get in on that? You record that. Oh no, that's illegal. Well, that, no, yeah. that's not okay. But I can uh-huh. see it with my eyes. If you come down here, you can see it too. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's pretty neat. And then there's a girl smoking a cigarette in another room. Okay. And then there's a guy, and he looks real happy. He's got a a bucket. <laughs> And he, oh, uh, what's going on um, there? Hey, hey, my name is Zero Cool. I've just hacked in. What are you okay. doing? Oh, talking to a couple of six-year-olds that like to make prank phone calls. What are you doing? Yeah. Well, my my name is Zero Cool. His name is Crash Override. We're we're Sounds not to be trifled with. My name is yeah. Butt Fucker yeah. McGee. I'm inside the Gibson right now. Are you? I can yeah. see I can see the data. There's like these pillars, electronic pillars, and data is just flowing down them. And I'm oh, I know it. Uh, that's great. So, I know you know that when you hack into a computer, it says it welcomes you and gives you a prompt to log in, and oh, the prompt wow. has like skull skull and crossbones on it. Those like, look hey, like hack, this is. Jolie's. Oh yeah, it's the hacker login. <laughs> like you remember in Independence Day, you, you remember Independence Day when they uploaded the virus to the mothership or to I one of the spaceships. Didn't really pay attention at the chick flick. Independence <laughs> Day's a chick flick. What the fuck is it? Get the fuck out of here. You, you didn't see Will Smith, Will Smith, Will Smith on the soundtrack no, no, of the chick flick, bro. You, Harold Smith, he's thinking of fucking Harold Armageddon, Smith. this motherfucker, this motherfucker over here. He's thinking of Armageddon yeah. and not Independence Day. What a fucking tool. Yeah, Bruce Willis <laughs> on a rock is not what I'm talking about. Yeah, because cause in Independence Day, Jeff Goldblum and Will Smith were smoking big ass cigars. And like that was, that was, no, that was a phallic Fuck symbol, Jeff man, because that shows their virility. Like they would fuck a girl, they just look at a girl and she'd get pregnant, like a Mexican chick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what else have you been hacking into? Your, Your bank account. <laughs> Good luck with that. You gonna pay all my overdrafts? Oh, you broke. Yeah, bitch. you broke. You broke, motherfucker. I work in quality, in, bro. Of course, I'm broke. Girl. On girlfriend? You know, at least I don't Jeff have no Gold- girlfriends, at least, You know what? You can't even get on Jeff Goldblum's fucking level. At least he's hung out with dinosaurs and shit. What have you done? Uh, yeah, what have you done for me with hackers. I talk on the phone with hackers. I'm, I'm pretty we're important, ha- obviously. They take time out of their day ha- to talk to me. Yeah. yeah, we're part of Anonymous. Um, I'd, I'd remain yeah, Anonymous, we're really too, int- but I don't blame you. <laughs> Yeah, we're really interested in, yeah, so Savannah is, uh, she's like a top tier hacker chick who wears leather, wears leather, leather body suits and neon makeup. Mm, Yes. Nice. She also rollerblades through the streets of New York with her laptop in tow. Uh, Is your favorite movie hackers? I will do that for you. I want you to spin me on your dick like a fidget spinner. 
beast. She's also very sexually aggressive. <laughs> Aren't we all? Blather me and cream corn. What Blather else do you hack? Cream corn and um, put jumper cables on my nipples. Jumper cables? You know, they have actual clips yeah. for that, so you don't rip your fucking titties off. To each his own. <laughs> That's funny, yeah. though. I never thought I would hear that one again. Yeah, you know, we're real hackers. Like, we we uh, try to find back doors into systems. You Who know? Did? The back doors. Yeah. Put it in my butt. <laughs> so how's your birthday so far I'm in my birthday suit want to come over oh, I'm mm-hmm. at a hotel this is much more appropriate okay, speaking great. of which how many adulterers are staying there tonight adulterers um, I'm yeah. I, you know, know. I lost count at like six or seven myself, but I mean I'm only capable of running through cool. so much. How do you awesome. feel about the fact that your seedy motel facilitates adultery? How does that make I you feel? I approve of it because marriage is a crumbling foundation. Oh no. We're animals. We're supposed to spread our seed and not pretend like we want to be with one person. I'm touching yeah, so myself. See, Savannah's on the same wavelength as you. Yeah. She doesn't it's care. so hot and wet. I'm touching myself. Well, actually, Savannah <sighs> is actually like quite Chinese arid food. and dry, so, I mean, it seems like a bit of a conundrum there. Your name's Savannah, yet you're claiming to be wet. It doesn't rain in Savannah. Do you got a college yeah, degree? I actually went to weed college. Oh. Is that how we do it? Ah. <laughs> it's so hot. You went to clown college, don't lie. Ringling and Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Clown College. They read stuff to me all the time. Do you think maybe next year you'll be guessing people's weight or barking for the act woman? Mm-hmm. Not just guessing people's birthday. Put it in my butt. What'd you get for your birthday? Yeah, Savannah. Besides, besides a butt. I got the launch codes. Mm-hmm. Oh. So we should have a threesome. Yeah, see, Savannah's got a one-track mine. Well, it sounds like she's got a three-track mine. To each his own. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to make the world safe for democracy. And she's just trying to get her rocks off. Yeah. Democracy's a joke. The illusion of free will. Wow, you're... Um... You're the motel anarchist, aren't you? I am. I'm the everything wow. anarchist. Yay, that's good. Let's burn it all. Yeah, I have oh good my. credit. Yeah, Savannah wants a man who's got good credit. Is, are you? Do you fit that description? With the local dealer. To each his own. <laughs> <laughs> Not at the bank, though. You know, yeah. some weird stuff. You know, if I were you, I'd just, like, because you're an anarchist, right? Like, you should just go to the bank and just take all the money. What are they going to do about it? I don't like money, really. Just say, hey, look. It makes people do stupid say, shit. Say, hey, look, I'm not. Uh, what, um, like, buy uh, stuff? Um, no, uh, they take advantage um, of people. Um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um. There's been a drought. There's been a drought, yes. But then there wasn't. What does money make people do? My name is... Sav- Use hot dog water to make ice There's cubes? There's been a drought. What? 
Rich people tend to make ice cream. <laughs> hot dog water. Are you, are, you, are you revealing something about your establishment? Yeah, I am. We use all of our leftover hot dog water in the ice machine. <laughs> you have a 7-Eleven at the front desk? <laughs> I wish we had a 7-Eleven. To each his own. here sucks. Sound like you should start your own country. I'm not so really we should have politics. a some. But you're an anarchist, so you should do them. So we should have a threesome. Do you like cheese curds? You could. I do. Shoes. The best, the best cheese curds are in Wisconsin. I like when they squeak uh, and you bite into them. Savannah likes when you bite into her. She squeaks. <laughs> Real hard. What's, what's that noise in the background? Are you? Do you have like a printer going or something? What is that? Da, 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 or is it teletype? Are you? It's so hot. Uh, it's, are it's you sending a line. SOS? Is this line? Mm, yes. It's from the 1800s. Hmm. But see, ah. the thing is, landlines are great because when people slam the phone down on us, we can hear it. it hear yeah. a cell phone being slammed down. Uh, it's definitely like a brick. You can hear it, that's for sure. Cool. Awesome. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite? So what happens at this time of night? Well, uh, mostly just adulterating. Cream. Adulterating, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Do you see people coming down in their bathrobes to raid the vending machine? We actually don't have a vending machine. Just a condom machine. Cheap bastard. Oh. So you are that kind of hotel. So, I mean, I guess me and if, if you're looking for bubble gum, you're... And then put me out. Bubble gum and rubbers. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's classic. Last, last longer than fruit stripes. But I love the initial taste of the fruit stripe Definitely. gum. It is amazing. That noise. Hello? Hello there. Have you ever Are you heard... choking it? No, I think he wants to hear the sound of a m middle-aged woman either doing karate or something else. Taekwondo. Hard? Taekwondo. Cool. Taekwondo. It's all about the kicks. It is. Oh, yeah. If you if you can't kick well, you shouldn't do taekwondo. Definitely. Taekwondo oh. is all about the kicks. Oh, oh, oh here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Eat me and digest me. Doesn't, doesn't oh, that it sound out. really oh. disturbing? Like, what is that woman doing? Hot like the what? desert. What does that sound that for you. like to you? Sandy what does it sound like to you? Fours. I'm touching myself. Ending two uh, by fours? Sounds like uh, it's so uh, hot uh, and wet. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, oh, I can barely fit that. I'm so tight. You should try mayonnaise. Put it in my butt. That helps. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Plus, it accentuates <laughs> the sounds. It's fantastic. <laughs> mayonnaise. <laughs> You're a I'm dirty boy, or, aren't you? Or miracle. Shoes. That's your thing. Shoes. A bottle mm. just ain't Shoes. 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 Yeah, shoes. Do you offer shoes? Shoes. Thirsty. Shoes. There's Thirsty been a drought. Shoes. 
<laughs> shoes. Um, shoes. This is the remix. Um, shoes. <laughs> Two. Shoes. To each his own. Shoes. This is the remix. Shoes. Shoes. Ah. Shoes. Um. Party people. Shoes. That sounds dangerous. Shoes. <laughs> shoes. Two. Everybody get down. Shoes. Yay! That's good. Shoes. The remix. Violent shoes. vomiting. To each his own. Thirsty. Shoes. There's been a drought. Shoes. That kind of thing. Shoes. Two. Shoes. Um. Two. Shoes. Thirsty. Um. Shoes. To each his own. Thirsty. Um. Um. Shoes. Hmm. What kind of shoes? That's a good lead, isn't it? Shoes. It is. I feel like shoes. Shoes. I think that's like a top shoes. 100. Shoes. 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 Two. Two. <laughs> two. To each his own. Shoes. You, you want to be Savannah's agent? <laughs> An agent. Agent Orange. Oh, can Shoes. Yes. Wow. So what do you got to do at the hotel tonight? Cream. What are your responsibilities? Uh, to talk to hackers on the phone. Shoes. I'm ah. literally being paid right now. <laughs> that sounds dangerous. It's a pretty good job. Put it in my butt. Yeah. Shoes. You should call one of the rooms with us on the line. <laughs> uh, Flatter me in cream corn and um, put jumper cables on my nipples. Shoes. Tell you, there's something there with the shoes. I, I'm, I'm still curious, though, what kind of shoes? Because, I mean, they're <laughs> more amazing. Shit. <laughs> Shoes. I'm gonna I'm gonna say something very controversial. Mm, yes. They're crocs. They're crocs. Definitely. <laughs> Cream. How does that make you feel? No. Okay. You can't put sandals in well, depends on the material, but mostly you can't put sandals in the washing machine, but you can put Crocs in the washing machine. Ah, oh, I can barely fit that. I'm so tight. Ah. Flappy, flappy, flappy. Ah. What's your favorite color? No. Uh, Shit. Ah. Cream. Ah. Come. Cream. Ah. Um, okay. This is auditory pornography. Canned vegetables. Come. <laughs> Shoes. Shoes. Canned vegetables. Come. Cream. Shoes. Awesome. Shoes. Awesome shoes. Awesome shoes. Awesome shoes. Yeah, I don't know how to break it to you, but uh, Savannah, the lady who's been talking to you about shoes, <laughs> she's an AI that's going to uh, be replacing you. Shoes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so we need you we need you to train her on how to do your job. Shoes. She's a, 
Is your chat GPT AI replacement? Hey, there's some hierarchies of confidence out there. It's like Come. a thousand of them. Go be a plumber, Come. man. But be a good Come. one, you know? Be an honest one. Come. Because otherwise all you do is go out there and Come. cause trouble. We don't need people to cause more trouble. We need people to solve problems. Solve problems. Solve problems. Shoes? Okay, bye. Shoes. We love you. Bye, we're going to go. It's, it's the end. Shoes. We're done. We're just trying to make you happy. Shoes. Okay, bye. Shoes. Hi, plumber. Shoes. 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 Shoes problems. Shoes. Shoes problems. Shoes. Shoes problems. Shoes. Shoes. Plumber shoes. 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 Plumbers. Shoes. Shoes. Good shoes. Okay, bye. Would she like to chew on shoes? Thank you for calling this. You know, it. shoes. Shoes? Hello? Ass, 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 <coughs> ass, ass, ass. Thank you for Good calling us last one of Neo Show. How may I help you? Ah, I can barely hear you. It sounds like you're in the wind. Is everything all right? Everything's just fine, thank you. Talk all right, have you. you seen yeah, have you seen a box of shoes? My wife was she keeps telling me that there's shoes that are missing. Shoes? Yeah. Shoes. Right, honey, I know. I'm talking to the shoes. lady. Shoes? Yeah, I know. Shoes. I know. Uh, you know about the shoes? Shoes. All right, all right. Keep it down. Hello? Hello? Good evening, Joplin Fairfield. This is Branch. How can I help you? Hi, uh, you say your name was Branch? Yes. Oh, wow. What were your parents smoking? I want to get some of that. They were smoking trees. All right. Tree branches. Yeah, I put my brother on. I'm, I'm big. Hello. Oh. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Oh, you talk to him, Big Red. You talk to him, Big Red. Hey, l- listen. So we we fucked up in here. Huh? Yeah. We we no fucked way up. To say we, it. we fucked up. Dang. We fucked up real bad in here. Dang. No, listen. We we had a pizza oven in here, but the electricity, like we didn't have a 120, we didn't have a 120 hookup. So we started putting logs. We put branches in here. We started lighting them on fire to heat up the pizzas, but the, it wasn't hot enough. And so the cheese didn't melt, and the dough didn't cook, and then your mother didn't suck any chicken. Da. <laughs> So, bad pizza? Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. No, what happened is we ran out of branches to, uh, you know, keep the pizza oven hot. So, mm-hmm. we broke down we broke down all the furniture in the room and burned that. <laughs> Shoes? Uh-huh. Just wondering, do, you any, do you have any uh, fuel for the fire? <laughs> fuel? Oh, oh yeah, baby. Shoes. Shoes. Oh, you can yeah. burn your boots. Shoes. Do you touch it? The fire. I'm masturbating right now. <laughs> That's a legitimate question, sir. Do you touch it? Touch it. I am touching it. Well then. Oh yeah, no, no, it feels good. Touch it. Where the fuck did you come from? Were you, this guy, you know, what the hell? I think he was this guy. He was sleeping in here. I think that's the couch guy from Half Baked. Oh, the guy? No, his name was The Guy. Yeah, The Guy. The, the guy. The guy yeah. on the couch, yeah. Yeah. Do you touch it? I already, I'm currently oh, touching yeah. it. 
You know it. Oh, yeah, wow. baby. I'm touching myself. Oh, yeah. I will oh. call the police. Yeah. Touch it! Touch it! Wow. Why, you want them to touch it? Oh, yeah, no. It feels good. Oh, I can barely fit it. I'm so tight. Oh, yeah, no. It feels oh, good. Yeah, baby. This is sexual Come. harassment. Come. Oh, yeah. Come. You Come. wish. Come. Oh, yeah. Come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shoes. What are you doing Shoes. to her ass? Shoes. Keep talking trying to so hot when you're angry. Do you, do you touch it? You're trying oh, to scam yeah. touch someone? What? Touch it! No, I'm scanning. Touch it! But, you know, whatever. Touch it! Scanning? Yeah, scanning. Uh, you have one screen. of those hand scanners from the <laughs> 80s? No. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no, you should just fucking hang up right there. That's it. Done and done. The wheels fell off the bus, so could you please hang up the phone? Thank you. Did you Did you night. guys need a room, or, or are you in a room, or...? We got lost on our way, but we found our room key, and we're not even in this hotel. I'm sorry. Oh. Actually, we're driving there right now, and we need directions. <laughs> okay. I'm uh, right across the street from Dairy Queen. Oh, no! Oh, no. Where, what's the location? Please, I'm trying to help. What's your location? We're under a tractor trailer. That could be anywhere. Sounds Our like car is a roasted pancake. That's okay. The horn, the horn is stuck. There goes the alarm. All right. Oh no, Riley Martin's come down from the Biavians or something. The wheels on the chooch go. <coughs> All right. Okay, can you hang one? up the phone? Okay, thanks. Have a good one. I choose too. you. You too. Right. Hang up the phone. Put it down, phone. Hang it up. Hang it up. Well, yeah, it didn't quite make it. Hang up, oh. hang up, 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 we have to go. The cows are here. Oh yeah, the cows came home. Yeah, we gotta take care of them, you know. We said we we said we were gonna prank you until the cows like came home. So. I like to kill oh, those are back. My wife's in that pack there. It's some cool. But it's the end of the show. So I gotta go. Bye.